The city of Swan acknowledges the traditional owners of this region, the Wajap people of the Noongar Nation, and their continual connection to the land, waters and community. We pay respects to elders, past, present and their descendants. Stay informed with City of Swan News. I'm your host, John Mogridge. Good day and welcome to the City of Swan's Newsroom. My name is John Mogridge and I'm the Aboriginal Partnerships and Development Officer at the City of Swan. And today we'll be discussing the latest budget news and plans to make the city greener. With close to 40 million in investments, to upgrading them and maintaining the parks and reserves. These are spaces for everyone to relax, play and connect. Hayden reports from Balladjuru where the city plans to create a new playground for all ages and abilities. That's right, John. I'm right here in Balladjuru where an exciting new intergenerational playground is set to be constructed. Here with me is Kayla, the project manager, who will be giving us all the exciting details. This $6.4 million project will have water playways, exercise equipment, a rock climbing wall, a flying fox and more. We've listened to the local community and we'll deliver what they've asked for. We'll be moving forward at one of the city's most popular tourist hotspots, Bells Rapids, with a new master plan underway to protect and revamp the landmark for future. Monica will tell you about a new master plan that is in the works. At Bells Rapids, we are working on improvements to access and parking and how to implement them in a way that is respectful of Aboriginal cultural heritage. The city is also liaising with the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions, DPCA, on environmental approvals. Hayden Watson, City of Swan News. Local governments across Perth recognise the urgent need to increase tree coverage in their areas for livable communities. Let's hear about what the City of Swan will be doing to increase its own tree canopy. John, I'm here in Balajura, one of City of Swan's priority areas for increasing its green canopy. We have just planted over 800 trees on Hepburn Avenue in Balajura, with many other exciting planning projects for the year ahead. Trees make our streetscapes more beautiful, clean the air we breathe and cool outdoor spaces. They also provide homes for wildlife and boost property values. The city will also host its ever-popular giveaway of free trees and plants once again in 2024, as well as a free tree giveaway program for any residents who wish to plant a street tree on their front verge. Elise Higgins, City of Swan News. I'm excited for this giveaway, and I understand residents can now register their interest on the city's website. Next time on the news desk, we'll reveal how the City of Swan is keeping the community's wheels turning with its Capital Works program. Stay tuned for the numbers.